so this uh, month we were talking about what we uh, could demonstrate uh, to start off the meeting, and we thought we would look a little deeper into the Excel upload side of Smart Dialer. It's something that um, is a, a really great feature of Smart Dialer, and it's something that not everybody either knows about or not everybody really understands how to use. Um, and just to kind of uh, kick that off, I do want to kind of go over the two main use cases that I see most often in Smart Dialer and, and how that may uh, affect you guys. Obviously, uh, one of the great things about Smart Dialer is the fact that it is fully connected with our CRMs. That means you can reach inside your CRM and grab leads, uh, develop a Smart Dialer campaign and call them uh, directly from your CRM. That's awesome for follow-ups for people you've already connected to. But a lot of our customers also do cold calling or unqualified leads. And the last thing they want to do is clutter up their CRM with a bunch of those. And that's where the Excel upload really comes, uh, you know, really comes good for you. And so I want to just run through how to do it. I'm going to share my screen and kind of walk you through step by step. And you should see my smartphone now. Um so, and I will move zoom out of the way. So uh, obviously, um, so in Smart Dialer, um, what I'm showing you on the screen, there will be slight differences based on the CRM that you are individually using, right? So uh, because I am connected to my Podio account, I'm going to have certain bits of this, but I will kind of highlight and identify where those differences are. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a brand new campaign and I'm going to... Uh, give it a quick name, Q and A, and I'm going to just very quickly select some basic settings. These are basic settings that you should know pretty well from Smart Dialer already, just to run through them. Obviously you can select one or many of your caller IDs uh, that you can use, that your agents will use when calling. And of course um, we've done, I believe a Q and A on how geo caller ID works already with Smart Dialer, but there's tons of documentation on that, or you can ask, uh, question afterwards. Uh, number of lines, uh, if you've got the single line dialer, obviously you'll only have the one. If you've got multi-line, you can choose one through four. Uh, the ring time is uh, how far, how long <coughs> try and dial before it moves on. And the phone number depth is how many no numbers it'll actually try to call uh, on an individual lead itself. Uh, I'll just quickly drop some recordings in here and we'll get to the fun part, which is the Excel upload. So now because I'm connected to Podio, obviously you'll see that I have Podio options and I have Excel options here. Um, if you're depending on your CRM, you'll see your own CRM there. And in this case, I'm going to do an Excel upload and I am going to choose a Excel spreadsheet that I've already got, save and continue. Now, um, and see uh, the next step what you're going to be doing, just like um, almost any uh, system that allows you to merge data, you're going to map the fields from your, uh, the columns from your Excel sheets, your CSV sheet, uh, to the uh, fields that we have in Smart Dialer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go map very quickly some of these uh, key things. Now, um, you may have, and this is a critical part of this, when you are uploading into Excel, you may have uh, multiple leads, uh, multiple sorry numbers per lead. So if you've skip traced, or if you bought a, a list where you've got a number of phone numbers for each lead, you're going to need to have them as a as separate columns. So phone number one is a column, phone number two is a column, phone number three is a column, etc. Um, and that way, you'll be able to map multiple of uh, phone numbers when you are uploading your CSV. So in this case. I've simply got this one phone number column, but if I had multiple columns, I simply click the add and then I can map another column. And so I can add more numbers that I'm going to sync through. Um, I do, I think I do have email. So, and then I can go ahead and sync the address information that I've got. So that my agents, when they're on smart dialer, will be able to see the uh, map. And then I've got some, additional fields here that I have the option, if my CSV has them, I have the option of um, of syncing as well. So of mapping as well. So in this case, I'm pretty sure I've got credit score and occupation uh, status as well. 
Oh, that's an owner occupied. And then of course I've got other fields here that if you have those in your CSV, you can map as well. That's gonna go ahead and start importing my leads and I can continue. Now, they, depending, and this is where it kind of gets a little di different uh, depending on your CRM. Um, if you're using uh, Podio as a CRM and you want to be able to push your leads uh, from smart dialer into your CRM. So i.e. you've uploaded a CSV and you want to go ahead and push them into your Podio CRM uh, once you've qualified them, you need to actually map the an app or multiple apps here. With other CRMs, if you're using uh, Salesforce, if you're using uh, Investor Fuse, that you don't have to uh, map. That is an automatic, the, the connection is already set up. And so you don't have to do anything for that. But Podio is a unique case. So if you are using Podio, you're going to have to select from inside. And I'll just do a very quick one. Um, you're going to have to collect, select uh, an app or multiple apps. And you're going to have to um, actually uh, set this mapping up so that Smart Dialer knows where to push a lead once you have um, once you have qualified it. And again, for most people using the Excel upload, what they're doing is they want to keep their CRMs clean. So they're uploading the big list in the smartphone, uh, dialing with smart dialer, and then pushing those qualified leads over, uh, into to Podio on that successful, when you reach them, when you qualify them, when the opportunity is there. So the, um, that's the kind of core of the Excel upload. As I say, um, I think it's a, you know, one of my absolute kind of critical uh, concepts around CRMs has always been the cleanliness of data. I really hate it when I see bad data in CRMs. Bad data means you don't know what you actually have, means you can't report properly, and it means you've got clutter and friction for your agents. So using the uh, CSV upload, the Excel upload into Smart Dialer just means you can keep that CRM really clean and only push those leads that you've qualified into your CRM so that, you know, that you've got that kind of pristine opportunity to know exactly which leads you actually have qualified and who you should be working on.